And if you want the sound to be okay, you have to turn the microphone on. I think that's the key there. Um, you guys who... If you want the sound to be okay, you have to turn the microphone on. I think that's the key there. All right, so the sound check's working. Um, you guys who are in the chat... Um, I get this... Oops. So you guys who are in the chat today, uh, when I get the film up, if you want to ask me some questions while I'm showing the film, uh, I should be able to answer them. Um, it, uh, today I'm going to start with just a, a quick review of the past game stuff from the other day so we can kind of revisit what we're going to see in the film. I uh, also got a couple of questions up here that some people emailed in with uh, that I can address as well. Uh, trying a kind of a new piece of technology today where I can put my huddle directly into it so you're not looking at it on a film of an overhead projector. Uh, so hoping that works pretty well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So give me about, about 10 seconds here and we should be good to go. Coach Soren, if you're out there, you want to let me know if this looks good in the chat, that would be awesome. I'm also going to tweet out a link here uh, momentarily. Alright fellas, I think we're on and I think we're live. Um, gonna get going today on today's Coach's Corner. Um, learning some new technology uh, prior to, to doing these, so trying to up my game there. It's probably been one of the good things about this is uh, I'm getting a little more proficient on how to do some things. And uh, We're also, uh, some colleagues of mine, we're producing a, a show for, uh, for students, but a lot of people are watching called The Morning Buzz in the Morning, so that overran a little bit today because of some technical difficulties, but we're here, ready to go. I uh, hope you guys got to check out Coach Capone yesterday uh, in the special teams segment. I uh, thought that was pretty good. Coach is always, uh, always an exciting guy to listen to. Uh, going to have him in again next week on Monday. He's going to do a little uh, presentation uh, on uh, the recruiting process. <clears throat> uh, we'll be changing studios, so to speak, uh, uh, on Thursday. Uh, where this is kind of our tomorrow's our last day that we're really allowed in the building here at Levitt. So uh, we've secured a, an off-site location uh, in, in Turner, and, and we're going to be doing some of those from there. And, and I, I think I've learned how to do them from home now as well. Uh, some of those might not be live; they just might be uploaded. Uh, but you can always go to my YouTube page and, and find them in the coach's corner. Uh, can always email me with questions. 
Uh, Michael Dodd Hathaway at msad52.org. Uh, you can message me on Twitter at CoachHath19. Um, just to kind of preview the rest of the week on uh, Wednesday tomorrow, uh, the last one in here, I'm going to be doing a, a segment on practice planning and install planning. Uh, talk a little bit about the preseason and, and how we schedule um, and then talk a little bit about what, what things look like during the week and uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, Thursday, going to have Coach Norwich, uh, Coach Norwich, Coach Russell from Norwich, uh, Ken Abunk grad, um, who is the associate head coach, uh, special teams coordinator, linebacker coach uh, out of Norwich University in Vermont. Uh, he's going to be on. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be recorded or live. i got to work that out tomorrow with the, with the technology and, and see what I can do there. Uh, but that's going to be a cool, cool show. I've, I've plotted out some interview questions to ask him. If there's things you guys want me to ask him, uh, shoot him to me an email or a, a Twitter message. And we get that done. And then on Friday, uh, possibly a, a live uh, in studio. Uh, but if not, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, some sort of either live interview or uh, over Zoom or uh, perhaps a, a recorded interview. Uh, myself and Coach Cooper are going to talk uh, game planning, uh, which is, is going to be pretty cool. So uh, it, once we get past tomorrow, the times may vary a little bit. When we're doing live, it might not be at noon. Uh, it might just be a little bit more when certain guests are available. So I'm going to try to bring some more people in uh, so long as we can, we can leave and, and go meet each other and stay six feet apart um, and, and wash our hands a lot. We can, we can do that. So uh, setting up to be a pretty good week. And then, like I said, Coach Capone on next Monday. Uh, and then we'll, I'll kind of plot a schedule out. But the, the idea is we get one of these two a day uh, until this thing is over. Um, and it, at least replace some of the things uh, that we're missing out from the, uh, the, the clinic. And if anybody wants to be in the coach's corner, you got an idea for a topic, you want to present on something, you want to do an interview, uh, more than happy to, to make that happen, uh, we can do that. So uh, today, before we get to the past game stuff, a, a couple of questions that I got. Uh, via email, we talked a lot about uh, the other day about play side tags and backside tags. And people ask me, how do your players know if they're play side or if they're backside? Uh, so we have uh, our, our play calling system and our, our no huddle system is uh, based on um, colors and hand signals, more or less. Uh, so the color would indicate to them uh, if, if we're running a pass play with a front side tag and a backside tag they would get a certain color one way and a certain color the other way. Um, and then obviously if you're on the color side, then you know you're running the front side tag. If you're on the other side, you know the back side tag. And then usually the hand signal takes care of uh, uh, the, the two plays that we want to call. So for example, if we were going to call uh, thunder drag, uh, they would get a, a color, uh, they would get a, a thunder hand signal, they would get a drag hand signal. If there was any sort of motion, that would be on a board as well. Um, and they would receive all that from the sideline, and, and then we do it. Um, I'm sure the follow-up there is what do you do so the people aren't stealing your signals, looking at your boards, whatever. Uh, we have two board guys. We have two signal guys. Uh, we you know, switch them periodically throughout the game, different ways, change it up week to week, uh, and always try to mix it up. And you know, if people are stealing that stuff in the, in the uh, short amount of time that they have between the time we signal it and – and go, then, then more power to them, but uh, typically hasn't happened a lot. Uh, sometimes we got to make sure that our, our signal guys are, are you know, just operating the right way such that it, it can't be uh, detected. Um, you know, we feel like a couple times maybe people have picked up on some things, so we, we just make some switches when that happens, but, but that's kind of how we do that. Also feeds into the next question about how we call uh, our pass pros and our, our play action. Uh, those colors that we use for the different uh, pass plays, uh, whether it's a mirror route or uh, whether it's a front side, back side tag or whatever, uh, those colors also represent different pass protections to the offensive line. So uh, with the color, you're communicating one thing to the lineman and you're communicating the other thing uh, to the receivers. And then how do we call our RPO? It's the same thing. It's, it's a, just a tag system. So we would signal in our run play and then put a, a, a tag on the back of that, um, you know, whether it's snap or dusty or zipper or whatever it may be, uh, we can put a tag on the back and it's just a second uh, hand signal that kids are getting uh, to know. Um, I'll skip down to this one, then I'll get back to the mesh coaching point because that's going to kind of be in the film and I can put a little something up here on the board. Uh, how many formations do we use? Uh, I would say that we create in the preseason kind of a bank of base formations that we're going to use probably week to week throughout the year. 
Uh, usually that would be a couple two by twos, a couple three by ones, and a couple empties. So we kind of start with uh, six formations. We also have some H back sets that we run, so make it eight formations. Uh, so by the end of week one in the preseason, we want to have installed those eight formations. Uh, then in the next week of the preseason, we might add one to every category. Uh, so that gets us up to a dozen. And then week to week throughout the season, we're going to add at least one new formation every week. So, uh, you know, by week one, if we're carrying 12 formations, uh, we're going to add one and make it 13. Week two, we're going to have another one and make it 14. And we'll add a new formation each week uh, just to try to vary things up and making sure that when we face a team, they're going to see a formation that they haven't prepared for unless they've seen it on, on a, a tape from years past or maybe they've played us in the past or, or whatever. But uh, we do take a pretty good look and are pretty conscious at uh, what are we trying to to put on tape, what are we trying to show teams, and what can we show teams that they haven't seen uh, in this up, upcoming game plan. And uh, so, you know, that's fun, but I, I would say we start with the eight basic ones. Those are the eight they learn in middle school, so they really know them when they get up here. Um, it's more or less some, some nuances that are specific to certain plays within those formations that, you know, we want you to widen a little bit on this one or tighten a little bit on this one or, or whatever. So, um, yeah, that's the, the formation stuff. And then the mesh coaching point, I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you can see the board. Slide this over. Okay, and I'll just draw, you know, we have some different variations or whatever, but I'll just draw, um, you know, kind of one, one basic one. Um, let's go with... Uh, Put a tight end wing here. Uh, we'll put a slot with a split on the back, and then we'll put the tail there. Okay, so if, if we called uh, mesh, okay, the guy in the right is always over, the guy in the left is always under. That wasn't drawn super well. Let me try that again. Mesh is always a tricky one to, to draw a good mesh point on the board. It's a little better. We want those guys after they cross to get flat. He's the over, he's the under, and that's always a right and left rule for us. Okay? The next guy outside of, of the, the receiver would run the OTB route. And we usually aim for somewhere between eight and 10 yards for that. We would wheel the tail back usually to widen the uh, to widen the flat player to create more room to throw that mesh route right there. And on the back side, usually we try to get something in behind the safety in case he jumps the OTV. So that would be a basic way that, that we would call it. Uh, usually our read on this, if it's zone, is the play side back. And if he bails uh, you know, into coverage, into the curl zone or the hook zone, whatever he's doing, then we want to throw a mesh right in front of him. And we want to throw it in kind of in this window in here such that he's not going to be in trouble after he catches and getting drilled by the flat player. So we ask the quarterback to make a pretty quick decision there. If he jumps the mesh, what we tell the OTB is to work back down your stem. So he'll work back this way and try to work away from this backer and in this little hole where this guy leaves right there and, and we'll throw that. And then if we see the free safety rally down on the OTV, then we'll throw the post in behind it. Um, the over is more of a feel thing or a pre-snap thing or a man-to-man -man thing. Lots of times we feel like in the in the man-to-man -man stuff because we have a lot of action this way and this guy's the over. When, when we feel like we're getting some sort of man, we'll look for that. We'll also look for our tail back on the wheel against man because we feel like most of the time he's going to be covered by an outside backer here. Okay, and you can empty this out. You can take the tail back and put him out here. Just you know, give him a route. You can compress the formation, give him the OTB, give this guy the wheel. Uh, there's a number of ways that, that you can do it. Uh, but this is probably like when we start in the summer, this is probably how we teach it first. Um, so yeah, that, that would be the coaching point on mesh. Working back down your stem is a key. Uh, we also tell him if it's man to man and, and he wants to do what we call a dog, he can dog it and kind of extend his route. Uh, and just stay on the move instead of sitting in a hole because it's man-to-man. -man. Um, 
you know, in a lot of four three schemes, we just have him working on the mic. Uh, so, you know, if the mic's dropping straight back, he's going to slide back this way. If the mic opens his hips to him, he might cross him and, and then sit in the hole. Uh, we give that guy a little bit of freedom to adjust that OTV route however he needs. Uh, great concept, stole it from uh, uh, Liam Cohen, who was at, uh, at the time was with the Cleveland Browns, uh, coaching up Brandon Whedon when uh, Coach Whipple from UMass was down there. Uh, and then Liam was up at Maine uh, for a short stretch as the OC up there. So, um, you know, any offense you see, I see him. I, he might be with the Rams now. Um, that, that's usually a big part of it. So that's kind of the coaching point on Mesh. Um, I'm going to zoom this camera over and just take a look at the board for a minute and just kind of give you a quick, quick review on some of this past stuff, and then we'll go to the film. Um, hopefully you guys can see that pretty good. A little bit of a, of, of a glare. Uh, let me see if this helps a little bit. I don't know if that, I don't know if the darker helps it show up. I'm gonna look on my screen and see if that makes a difference. A little bit, doesn't seem, uh, a little bit better. Yeah, I think you guys can see a little bit better like that. I can see it anyway better on my screen. So, um, again, things we're gonna cover today. Um, you know, we talked a lot about philosophy the other day. We try to run a lot of high-low and, and flood concepts. Uh, we use both some mirror schemes and some front uh, play side, back side tag schemes. Uh, I've got some screens in there, so we'll go over the screen game. Um, you know, you'll see the quarterback. I don't know how much I'll get into the quarterback footwork because I think I'm going to do a quarterback talk next week. Um, but <clears throat> you'll see him one step, you'll see him three step, you'll see him half roll out of play action, and you'll see him sprint out. Uh, we also three step uh, out of play action uh, sometimes as well. Uh, so you'll see that on there. Uh, you're going to see also some RPO game. I put a few of those in today uh, where you're going to see how we do some of that stuff. Um, and again, you can tag a lot of those. If you have these backside tags built in, you can call, if you have a backside tag for double slant, you can just tag that uh, into the RPO. Um, we talked a little bit about pass pro, so we, we can get into a little bit of that in the film today. Uh, you're going to see some different formations, and, and I, I don't have a lot of motion plays in there necessarily because I showed a lot of them in session one. Uh, but I think there's a few in there today, and you'll see us working both against one high and two high. Um, going to definitely see Thunder Lightning a lot today. I, I didn't do as much with the Joker and Batman because those are off Jet Sweep, and we covered those a lot in the other segment. Uh, I think I've got a couple of those in there today. The play actions off our screens. I'm uh, going to see some trip stuff. Um, uh, Copper, Cujo, Face, Denver, Peel. Denver and Peel are kind of our four vert concepts. Um, uh, face and Cujo and Copper are kind of curl slide type of concepts. Uh, with, with a third route in there. I don't think I have a lot of bunch in there. I might have one sluggo in there that we can take a look at, uh, but I did not get a lot of that uh, as I was doing it. Uh, some of our two by two stuff is in there. You'll, you'll see a couple of those, the slot fade, the Eagle concepts in there today. Coach Flip, be excited about that. Probably should mention uh, Main Elite Passing Academy uh, or Camp uh, wore the shirt today. We're, we're, so long as we can have it, we're planning on running that the week after July 4th. I think it starts on the, on the 6th. Um, so, you know, if you guys, we've added a lineman component to this year. So if you guys want to get your linemen out there, get your quarterbacks, get your receivers out there, um, and we have it up at Lewiston High School uh, on the turf, it's a pretty good event. We, we usually have uh, 70 to 80 guys. Um, we have kind of a, a morning, uh, a lot of position work, group work. Uh, we eat lunch together, have a little film session, and then come back out and do seven on seven. Uh, the lineman session is going to be just in the morning. Uh, got Coach Capone is on that with uh, Coach Bockler, my line coach, uh, Coach Ledoux from Bonnie Eagle, uh, their line coach, um, and then a, a couple of my guys are going to just kind of be helping out. Coach Switchell, our defensive line coach, and Coach Gray, our defensive end coach. Uh, those guys are going to be working. Uh, we've got a few other guys lined up. I think uh, Coach Solomon from Holton is going to be around that week. He's bringing a group of guys down. It's pretty cool. Um, coach Scott from, from Coney will be out. Uh, Spencer Carey, the, the DB coach at Bates. And Liam Hobbins, the DB coach at, at uh, UNE, those guys will be out. Uh, we get speakers to come in. Um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty cool thing that we put together. We're trying to make it better every year. So if you're interested, go to the website, mainlypasscamps.com. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into some of this. We're going to see uh, some mesh and some Z and some scat today. Uh, going to see some of these backside tags today. And, like I said, a few uh, screens in there as well. So I'm going to go click on the film now. 
and hopefully this is going to work. It's a little bit of a new technology for me um, that I'm trying here. Uh, so I should be able to do this. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle. And then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that. Uh, let's get
on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get on my huddle and then let's move that uh, let's get 